to. I'm just saying if you needed to. It's an option. You can feel option free to sit down here. You can do anything you want to do. Are we on, Lance? Yep. Awesome. Wow. Um, so, you guys, a couple years ago, was it more than a couple years ago? Seven years seven ago? Seven years ago. Seven or eight. Seven or oh eight years gosh. ago. All you're doing is making me older. I have <laughs> a birthday on Sunday. We, uh, we get a guest list the night before you're on the Today Show of, of guests that are going to be on the show, and then each segment is matched up with a producer, and the producer comes to you and says, you're going to have this guest, this is some information about your guest, and these are some potential questions. <clears throat> so I got this guest list, we're going to have this kid on the show, and he's this like young kid movie critic, and he really knows movies, and, <clears throat> and I was like, well, how much can you know about movies if this kid is going to be on the show? And uh, the questions were like adult questions to this kid. And sure enough, all of a sudden, here comes this adorable little, like, wet behind the ears, bright eyed, <laughs> obviously clearly comfortable in front of the camera kid. And he's talking about movies, which I like, felt like I wasn't even mature enough to have watched, like actual movies. Some were cartoons and some were like real movies. Right. movies. Yeah. And you basically put the best of the best to shame, like the Siskels and the Eberts. Oh, and I was like, you. I actually understand what you're saying and might want it. Thank you. Uh, and you were Action Jackson, and you were like the coolest little kid in town, and we kept having you back. And it wasn't just us, like you were on the Today Show, you were on like Jay Leno, yes. you were on all the nightly shows, you were on all the entertainment shows. It was, you yeah, are everywhere. Thank you very much. It's, it's great to be here and, and all the different cameras. And you even speak like you're already 40 and you're like the host of a variety show. Thank you're you. like light years ahead of the age. You always have been. Thank and you. I mean that in the most complimentary way, of course. Thank you, Jenny. You know what's funny is I did an interview with you afterwards and okay. backstage at the Today Show the first time. So this was, I think, 2010. Okay. And I asked you, the last question was, what do you want to do with the rest of your life and the rest of your career? And one of your responses was, one of 80. Maybe have a talk show. Yeah. And I think it's so cool. Now, here is your dream coming true. Well, doing yeah, it. it's not the full dream, but it's, it's we're like three quarters of the way down that path. Okay, there you we're go. We're getting there. Yeah. I make my own rules. I, my, Lance and I were our own bosses, and I kind of like that. Yeah. You can wear whatever I want to the show, which Beautiful. is pretty amazing. Beautiful. But um, enough about me. Uh, do you like the jeans? Like, do they fit me well? Like, you like yes. Jeans, right? Yes. Yeah. Shoes. What a um, styling what, today. Yes. Jackson Murphy. What are you up to these days? Talk to me. You're uh, you're now in college, right? Yes, I'm at the College of St. Rose in Albany, New York. Okay. I'm a freshman studying communications. Well, obviously, you yes. would have to at this point. Although you're probably teaching half the course to the rest of kids. It is where Jimmy Fallon went. Oh, nice. Is what I tell people. Yeah. So there's signs of Fallon all around, and everybody was happy with the Golden Globes and everything. Sure. So yeah. so yeah, having a great time and on local radio, Fly 92.3 and on Australian television. This is crazy week for me because it's Oscar week. And so I'm on here and I'm yeah. so honored to be on your show. I'm also doing Fox Sports Radio and Australian TV and Connecticut television, CT style. But you're really doing all it. All kinds of, yeah, segments all week long. So let's go back a second. Like, how, how did this even start? Were you a kid that loved movies? Did you love media? Like, what? I, I don't think I ever got an opportunity to ask you full blown questions of all of, of how this all even began for you. Yeah, I was inspired by Roger Ebert and Regis Philbin when looking at Roger Ebert with the movie reviews and being in front of the camera and giving his opinions on movies and duking it out with the calls and with Regis. The live TV, the unpredictable nature of it all. He was just incredible with it. Right. So I was inspired by them to do what I do, and I started this whole movie review thing in January of 2006. Wow. We are 11 years in. So you were more intrigued by reviewing the movies and less about the actual movies itself. Like, you knew what you wanted to do. You knew the craft. Yeah, I was more into sharing my opinions with people and talking about the movies. I do come up with a lot of ideas, but I'm more into being in front of the camera and talking about these films. Well, then maybe you can answer before we get into it too much further. Lance's favorite movie of all time was Diner, and my favorite movie of all time was somewhere between A Fish Called Wanda and, like, The Prince of Tides and Tommy Boy. And I don't even know if you've seen I any I remember you talking movies. about Tommy Boy, right? No. Lester, because Lester's favorite movie is also Tommy Boy. Okay. He like very intelligent movies on okay. the TV show. Very right. intelligent. Very intelligent. <laughs> um, so obviously, I already don't even have to answer the question. You obviously think Tommy Boy is a better movie than Diner. Thank you for settling that for us. You're once welcome. For all. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Sorry, Lance. Um... <laughs> So yes, now it's Oscar week. Yeah. And my complaint about Oscar week, okay. Jackson, is that 
I never, I never really see the movies because they're so above like my, I don't know, intellectual pay grade. They're so, they're so like big, you know, like deep, very, you know, far off mainstream movies. They're never like Mission Impossible Two is never up for an Oscar. <laughs> Do you see the what I? Well, yeah, I mean, people you? like you who loved Mad Max Fury Road last yes. year were praying to God that it won Best Picture. Yes. It was not going to happen. No. But it won, I think, six Academy Awards last year. All the technical categories that swept a lot of right. those. You're not going to see quite a sweep with technical categories this year. Okay. But what's the theme this year? Like, what's the theme? This the year? theme this year is three words. La La Land. That is the theme. Now, have you seen La La Land yet? So, I was supposed to, and then Steph got me. It's a long story. You don't long care time. about the backstory. The pro I got tickets, and I never actually got a chance to see it. Oh, my gosh. I know. John but Lance Lowe. saw it. Did you I saw it? it. It was really good. Yeah. Yes. It's but tremendous. He, he yes. also saw the saddest movie in the history. Of Which movie. is Manchester by the Sea. Yes. Okay. Yes. I thought it was a comedy. And then... Lance has a warped sense of humor. No, no, I was told it was a comedy. Oh, before, before you said that was a comedy. Who told you Manchester was The person was a I went with told me it was a comedy, and then I as it went on, I was just Not like, I was <laughs> waiting for the comedy to start. People, people and then I found, I did find, the com fun. there was a comedic yeah. moment in, in there, one. one. I forgot what it was, but I remember okay. laughing one. at that one, one moment. One okay, minute so out of two hours and 20 minutes. Okay. La La Land La 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 La. Huh? Yes, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I watched the screener because I'm a member of the Broadcast Film Critics Association. Of you are. Went to the Critics' Choice Awards. Of course Emma Stone, who's so lovely. And watched the movie on a Saturday night in November. And just blown away. Just blown away by everything that it stands for, everything that it does. It's so positive. The musical numbers are unbelievable. And I'm watching it on TV in my house. You can still get that experience at home, even you know, though everybody else basically is seeing it in a grand theater. Right. And it is designed for a, a theater because people have said, oh, I don't know if I want to go. I said, if you ever would want to pay $13 to see a movie, this is the movie get to pay $13 and go to a theater and see. It's that kind of an experience. La La Land is going to win Best Picture. It has to win Best Picture. If any other film wins Best Picture, it will be... Biggest upset of the decade. And People all that because it, yeah. of its positivity, or is it because it's a musical, or is it because of its cast? Like, what is it about this? I'm movie? intrigued by you thought it, that it was a positive. You thought it was a positive ending. I mean, the ending, you know, don't want to spoil everything, but the ending gets you. It's a power punch, and it's the culmination. Like Chekhov. Right. Okay. And it's the culmination of so much leading up to it. People have the songs in their head. I mean, yeah. I, I talked to Justin Hurwitz who is the composer of the film. He's gonna win Best Original Score for sure. And I said to him, look, when I was done with this movie, I had three of your songs swirling through my head simultaneously. He yeah. said that was the goal. The goal was to make songs that could get stuck in people's heads forever and ever and ever. And that's what they've done. Um, would this, is it because the, the other movies this year, and, and can yeah, you they are, the yeah, other I mean, movies that are up for Best Picture? You know, Fences is long and it's gritty. Hidden Figures is very positive. In other years, Hidden Figures would win. In other years, I think Lion would sweep it oh, yeah, because Lion. Lion has a power uh, of its own as well. Yeah. But Manchester is very depressing. And Arrival is gritty through most of it. Um, so yeah, Moonlight, I wasn't a huge fan of Moonlight. There are people who want Moonlight to win for a number of different reasons. I was not blown away by it. I think Mahershala Ali is very good in it. He's going to win supporting actor, but um, but yeah, it's it's so different from everything else. It's the kind of movie that <coughs> represents what a Best Picture Oscar winner should stand for. It really does. <coughs> and tell me about the cast, because I yeah. read something that um, two other very famous people turned it down for money for for financial right. reasons, like Miles Teller yes, or something, yes, and. Um, Someone else, so I can't remember. Emma Watson. Emma, Emma Watson, Watson, right. And, and, and all of a sudden, Emma Stone and, um, what's his and name? Ryan Gosling. And Ryan Gosling yeah, got yeah. it. And Ryan Gosling had to learn how to play the piano. He actually played the piano? Yes, he actually played the piano. How about that, Lance? Yeah. They look like, yeah. Yeah. And Emma Stone had to learn all the dance moves. And, and yeah, tremendous. But yeah, Miles Teller wanted more money. And Emma Watson wanted rehearsals to be in, in London. London for a film. Bubba like, can you imagine? Yeah. Now this film's going on to probably win Best Picture. Yeah. And she's up, is she up for Best Actress? Emma Stone, yes. Emma Stone's up she's for Best Actress. Win. And yeah. they're going to have a ton of awards. And all of a sudden, like... Miles and Emma are home oh, watching Oh, yeah, they're the hating. I think Page Six did a story yeah. recently that said they are just shaking their head. Of course. Of course, Emma Watson now with Beauty and the Beast in a couple weeks. Oh, that's right. But 
this is, you know, Emma Stone's so, probably going to win Best Actress. Yes. And Emma Watson is shaking her head. Uh, yeah, Damien Chazelle did Whiplash two years ago, and if you saw Whiplash... That was one of my favorite movies. Oh, yeah. I absolutely loved it. J.K. Simmons, who has a small role in La La Land, J.K. Oh, was he unbelievable. Oh, does? He does. a little bitty role, oh. but it's funny. J.K. was uh, unbelievable in Whiplash, unbelievable. and what Miles Teller did with it, and what Damien did with all the drums and everything, and you get a different kind of intensity, because I asked Justin about that, too. A, a different kind of intensity. It's an emotional intensity when it comes to La La Land, and you get it the whole way through. Like, I'm looking at you, small fry, but I'm hearing someone who's been in the industry for, like, years and years and years. You really know how to tell a story. You really know how to talk about a movie. You talk about a movie like it's a person. Like, you give it Thank you. real attributes. Like, I had no interest in, no interest in seeing La La Land. Like, it's a musical. I didn't love Emma Stone and a couple other. And now all I want to do is watch the movie yeah. because of you, but that's Thank what you. a critic does. Thank you. Can I add John Legend, too? John Legend, yeah. too. Yeah, I mean, he's got a song in there. It's called Start a Fire. And what's so interesting is this song is a pop song. It's a powerhouse. Yeah. He blows the roof off the place. What John Legend's going to do on Oscar night is he's going to perform two of the songs that Ryan and Emma performed in the movie for them because, you know, Ryan and Emma need to just yeah. sit in the audience and relax until maybe their names are called. So it'll be interesting to see John Legend on stage performing two songs he's never performed publicly wow. before. Yeah. I wish he was also performing Start a Fire because it just... That would have been great. Yeah, unbelievable. Do you ever worry that, that people aren't going to agree with your opinion? Do you ever worry that maybe your critique of a movie is too harsh or not harsh enough? I mean, do you, do you have like critic insecurity ever when you come out after a movie? I just have to go with how I feel. And I, you know, I get a, not, a lot of negative backlash. I still have gotten negative backlash for Inception. Remember all those years That's ago? Right. All those years ago. Yeah. Oh, every day there's something else. You know, recently, most recently it was Deadpool. I didn't like Deadpool. I didn't like Doctor Strange. The fact that I didn't love Moonlight, you know. And, but I just gotta, I gotta state my opinions out there. I, I, I can't. Just, like because other, right, I, just because other people say something's great, if I don't think it's great, I can't go with them and just say that. I, I can't give in to temptation. I can't give in to any of that. Yeah. I just have to go with how I feel. And there are tons of people online who are ripping La La Land for all these little reasons and also because it is so dominating this award season. It swept the Golden Globes and won eight Critics' Choice Awards, and it's the clear frontrunner. Uh, for Oscar night, people like a race. And so they're just they're picking apart this yeah. movie because they want to see something else win, and yeah, it's just it's ridiculous to hear that. Um, what do you think about Oscar night in general? Like, do you watch the Oscars yeah. from start to finish? Do you watch the whole red carpet? Do you watch all the interviews? I watch some of the red carpet, flipping back and forth between E and ABC okay. with what they do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, watch the show, and it's a long night. It's a long night, and. The uh, Oscar ballots are out for yeah. the family and checking things off and, and seeing what's going on and the unpredictable moments. Do you like the Jimmy Kimmel, the pick of Jimmy Kimmel hosting? I do, because he's a host. And so he knows how to present himself and carry something through. He okay. did the Emmys in September. He did a good job with that. I think he'll be fine. I really do. I think he'll be on his game and hopefully something with Matt Damon, because Matt Damon is a producer on Manchester, so he's nominated. And so they got to do something. Good relationship, yeah. right? They got to do something during the show. Okay. Yeah. They're usually pretty tight-lipped about what's going to happen. Yes. Yeah. Did you just watch James Corden do the? Um, did you watch the Grammys? I watched a little bit of that. The same night was the BAFTAs, the British version of the Academy Awards, and so obviously that's that, like you know Canadian Thanksgiving. We all heard of it, but no one's ever actually seen it except for Jeff. So we had a BAFTA award winner on the show. Oh, that's right, Shane. Uh, no, Ashen. Ashen, that's right, the movie. Boy, I'm all over it today. That's amazing. I just pat myself on the So back. it was the British version of the Oscars was on, yeah. so I was watching that, but then I saw a little bit of Courtney afterwards. He did the carpool karaoke and he yes. brought on Neil Diamond. So I saw a little bit of that. But yeah, the, the industry doesn't care anymore about putting two award shows up against each other. I think Keith Urban said it, because Keith Urban uh, was at the Grammys alone. Wife Nicole Kidman. Oh, that's right. Was in London, so he's like, yeah. I can't. He said to Ryan Seacrest, I can't believe they did two award shows on yeah. the same night. We're all across the world. The yeah. only other person I thought that was incredulous was was you, of course. Um, okay, Connor's so mom is asking if she's not crazy about musicals. Would she like La La Land? Yeah, that's a really good question. Yes, you know, you know why? Because the songs don't dominate the entire movie. Um, there it's are not all music. There are only six songs in the whole film. Uh, and an incredible score, but there's a lot of dialogue. One of the best on-screen uh, couple arguments I've ever seen in my life. 
intense between Ryan really? and Bella at one point in the movie. Yeah, there's a lot of the downtime, but you're going to be blown which article, the Which argument was that? Uh, the one, uh, the one late, the one that changes everything in the with yeah. the green oh, okay. lighting and day. You saw it also? I loved it. Yeah. Am I literally the only one who saw La La Land? That was really good. Really? Yeah. Was it better than the fight in the, between Tom Hanks and Shelley Long in the Muddy Pit? Probably not an Oscar <laughs> award winning movie. You probably never even heard of that movie. Yeah. All right, let's all settle down. Um, <laughs> Uh, what does the role of social media play in in your job right now? Because it's very easy to get influenced. We used to sit on the Today Show, and if someone didn't like what I said, believe me, we would know about it. Somebody would tweet us and, hey, what you're wearing, don't love the question you ask. Like, does that ever affect you or seep into your consciousness when you're getting ready to watch a movie or, you know? No, know. but but social social media is everywhere these days. I mean, as you well know, you got to be out there. You got to put yourself out there. You got to keep uh, putting out all the reviews, all your opinions, everything out there. What's interesting when it comes to Oscar night, I can remember a couple of years back when Ellen did the selfie. Yeah. And so you just want to tweet something, but because Twitter uh, broke and all that, I remember going to the laptop or, or something and going, gosh, Twitter isn't working. Right, right, and then right. Ellen came out on stage. So maybe that happens again this year, that even though social media is, is such an influence on our lives, Something like the Oscars, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I could I could see that, but yeah, you, you always got to be out there and, and and post. You know, I post my reviews all the time and pictures and, and all kinds of things, promoting events, promoting appearances like this all the time. What uh, what, what do you? I already know what you were gonna be as a kid and a teenager and a uh, college freshman, but what do you want to be when adulthood seeps into your life? Are you gonna carry on and are we doing this in the next? Five, ten years, are you loving what you're doing right now? I love what I do. I love interviewing celebrities. I, I would love something like what you're doing, to yeah. be very honest, a, an entertainment lifestyle talk show opportunity as well. Um, and with, again, what Regis ha did with his career, yeah. with the millionaire phenomenon as well, to be a part of something groundbreaking like that would be unbelievable. But yeah, if I continue doing this, you know, everything, which is a combination of a bunch of different angles, it's interviewing celebrities, it's reviewing movies, it's opinions, it's commentary, it's, it's all kinds of things. If I continue doing that, I, I'd love that, yeah. Na I, I name some it. of the cool, cool, name some of the more notable celebrities you've interviewed in the, the last couple of months or years or whatever it is that uh, have really stuck with ooh, you. Ooh, I loved interviewing Kathy Griffin. She yeah, was yeah. great. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it was just 15 minutes of, of uh, who knows what right. uh, from right. her. Right. Diablo Cody was great. Talk about an Oscar winner. She won for uh, a screenwriter, best original screenplay for Juno. That's right. And so Diablo Cody told me about a year and a half ago, you know, when I won, I went backstage and I was so excited. I had my Oscar and all of a sudden, Daniel Day-Lewis had won for There Will Be Blood. And so he was back and he held up his Oscar to me and he was holding it up really high and he was cheering and she had kind of this private little moment with Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah. So she told me that. So she was really excited for that. I've interviewed a lot of animated uh, film movie makers. I do a lot of interviews for animationscoop.com for new TV shows for animation on Nickelodeon and the Disney Channel as well yeah. as the big animated movies and several of this year's nominees for Best Animated Short Film. Patrick Osborne is up for a short called Pearl, which does virtual reality, which is such a craze right now. He won in that category two years ago for Feast, which was a Disney short about a dog okay. and food. And so he told me that backstage, once he won, he got to FaceTime with his mother oh. in, I think it was Chicago. And um, all of a sudden, The Rock and Kevin Hart were in the video oh, to his mother, and there was here. a party back home, and all these people were coming in from backstage. So when you do win an Oscar and you go backstage and do the press tour, FaceTime. you can FaceTime your family, and celebrities who are back it's there amazing. will come in and join you on the video. So. I like, let me pick your brain a little bit. What's the funniest movie you've ever seen? Help us out, because we're constantly arguing about Oh this. my gosh, the funniest movie ever? You know what? I like Ted 2 more than Ted. Really? Honestly, I think... I know Ted 2 was kind of a bomb at the box office compared to the first one. Seth MacFarlane not happy with it. I was thinking about this the other day for crazy reasons. I think Ted 2 is extremely funny. Did you see it, Connor? I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, I just, it was so funny that night. Um, man, a lot what of about Will drama? Ferrell comedy. Ooh, dramas. 
Man, one of my favorites the last couple of years is Saving Mr. Banks, a film that deserved so many Oscar nominations, only got one. It was about the making of Mary Poppins. That's right. Yeah, I, yeah, I never saw that. Oh, I wanted to. Emma Thompson deserved Best Actress win, not just the nomination. Tom Hanks as Walt Disney. Yeah. He was also snubbed three years ago for Captain Phillips. I know. He got the double snub. Why? The Academy's not a big fan of right, Tom right, Hanks. He's right. like the nicest guy in the world. So look, he hasn't been nominated in 17 years, 16 years, and he didn't get nominated for Captain Phillips. Saving Mr. Banks, Bridge of Spies, which I thought he was great in, and Sully this past year because it was such a competitive year right. for, for Best Actor slides. He didn't even get nominated for Sully, which I thought he was good in. Yeah. Sully was a short film, but it was it, was, it had a punch to it. It was good. Right. So, uh, yeah. We should we could have watched it here. It yeah, we could have watched the plane actually land live in the water. I think Robin Roberts talked about that. Really? Yeah, about seeing it for real. Oh, yeah, yeah we would not have thought of it as entertainment. We would have been freaked out. Mm. Um, what... Uh, are you able to talk about movies that you pan? Like, give me a, just so I have an idea, of, we know what you love. Give me a movie that you didn't love, that you really thought, if you're okay talking about. Yeah. So, just so I have an idea of where you're. Just, uh, just came out in theaters, Fist Fight. Ice Cube oh, and yeah. Charlie Day. Oh yeah, this supposed to be, was supposed to be funny. An absolute disaster. <laughs> uh, Tracy Morgan's return to the screen. Yeah. There's a scene in which Tracy Morgan has to talk in a comedic way about brain injuries. I'm not even kidding you when I say that. And we obviously know, you know, Tracy Morgan had the car accident about Don't three years ago. Don't tell me he's in a Walmart when he does it. That no. would have been like the ultimate. No, but yeah, I mean, it's just, and, and, and there's so much wrong with this movie. It's about two teachers who have a fight in the parking lot. And you go, why would this happen in real life? It would not right. happen in real life. Right. Pointless, shouldn't have been made. I don't understand why it was made. Yeah, that was a disaster. Okay. Yeah. All right. uh, you know, I, I'm trying to think while you're sitting here, what's the last movie I saw? And I took my three-year-old to see um, Sing. Oh, very good. I like it? Sing a lot. Yeah. It gave me chills a couple points when um, when the elephant sings Hallelujah. Yeah. Because Leonard Cohen just passed away. I was yes. like, holy cow. Right, yeah. right. Sing I is very good. You. I think it, the animated feature, I mean, we could spend 20 minutes just talking There's about the animated feature category this year, yeah. which is there are five or six movies that sh could have gotten into this category that didn't. It was such a great year. Yeah. Like Sing, Trolls, uh, Finding Dory could have gotten in. Kung Fu Panda 3 could have gotten in. But you've got Zootopia versus Kubo and the Two Strings. That's what it comes down to on Oscar night. And I think it's going to go to Zootopia, though watch out for Kubo, because it's from Leica and it's stop motion. And they did Coraline, Box Trolls, Paranormal. Is this a different kind of animation? It's stop motion, yeah. It's, it's like uh, it's like Wallace and Gromit, but a different studio. It's the, the puppets and, and oh, the movie. Okay. Right. So they've never won, but they've been nominated for all the movies they've ever made. So watch out for Kubo to win. My Life is a Zucchini is nominated, which I thought was very good. Red Turtle was okay, and I hated Moana. I am also sorry to say that to the people. Someone thought that was like the next Frozen, Moana. What is no. the next Frozen? You're like my animation king. Ooh, you know what? And why was Frozen such an absolute hit? It wasn't it seem to right. me any bigger or better than any, I mean, not that I know anything about princesses. But. I mean, when I watched Frozen for the first time, I was in a screening room in New York about two weeks before it opened, and I was with about 60 kids, and when Elsa started singing Let It Go, I literally got chills. Really? And I thought to myself, gosh, this is something I haven't seen in Beauty and the Beast, as we've talked about as my favorite movie. Yeah, that was a great movie. Right. And I, and I say, I haven't seen something like this since Beauty and the Beast, and nobody has. They attach to it for the songs. Frozen will define this generation when it comes to animation. Oh, I love that. La La Land will define this generation when it comes to music. Stop it. That is a yes. huge yes. statement. Because look, all these people who said, oh my God, I can't believe La La Land got 14 Academy Award nominations, tying the record with Titanic right. and All About Eve. I watched All About Eve for the first time over the summer. Loved you, it. You ever see it? Yes. Would you put it up against La La Land? Um, no, I don't think so. I Do you think La La Land was better? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yes, I think La La Land is right up there with those two. And I, th I think Titanic is fantastic as well. So, yes, La La Land, people don't know it, people don't realize it, but La La Land will define this generation when it comes to musicals and potentially all live action films. Such yeah. a huge yeah. statement. Yeah. 
I love it though. Thank you. Do you do yeah. this for your friends at college? Do you sometimes sit and you're all having dinner and someone's like, did you see Homeland? Homeland, let me tell you, I give it two <laughs> thumbs up. Homeland with a strong cast. We're like, we got it, Jackson. Like, we're I'm good. not this theatrical in real life. Yeah. I'm a little Do you know that Jenna's in home, like, in the next? I happen to throw in Homeland because I'm in two episodes this season. You know what I'm into? Designated Survivor. If you're watching Designated Survivor. Oh, is that the 24th It's thing? Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah. Yes. He plays the president, so they're in a hiatus right now. They come back in a couple weeks. Yeah. What a cliffhanger. It's, it's Jack Bowers the president, so I, I had to get hooked into this. And so, yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you might as well just go, give me three other things that's on your DVR that you Ooh. have to watch on TV. On TV. Let's uh, see if your taste in movies translates to TV. Wow. Shark Tank? Love Shark Tank. Don't know the first thing about business, but I'll know if, if your evaluation is too high. <laughs> Every cooking show on Food Network yeah. is on the DVR. Chopped is my favorite. Yeah, Cupcake Wars is on the DVR. Right. The you winner of that. Cupcake Wars, that's yeah. the cupcake shop that opened oh, up across right, the street right. for me, was the winner of Cupcake Wars. We had a Cupcake uh, Wars winner locally or contestants yeah. locally from one of our shops. That's and awesome. then also, I have still... Uh, there was one last night, so I'm a little behind, but I've still up to this point seen every episode of Spongebob ever made. Oh, so there was that. a new half hour, there was a new half hour of Spongebob so last night. So cute, because at the end of the day, like, you're still a kid, right. and I love that. And they, they're, they're really, they're still going strong after 17, 18 but years That's like on the Simpsons. Year. Right, they're still, and Simpsons is on the DVR too. Yeah. They're still going strong, because the writing is still so good. Spongebob last night made fun, and then poked fun at Mad Men the whole episode, and John Hamm guest starred. Oh, wow. So they're really getting sharp, even sharper than before. For people who have said, I haven't seen The Simpsons in 10 years, so I don't think it's funny. Well, yeah. you haven't seen The Simpsons in 10 years. The Simpsons is still really, really funny, and SpongeBob is still very good. Is it because they keep yeah. it relevant? They keep yeah. talking about it? Oh, yeah. I, I met James L. Brooks at Critics' Choice this year because he's producer on uh, The Edge of 17. And I said, gosh, you're still going strong. To, uh, you keep freshening things up. You keep going with the times. And he's so happy being a part of the show. Okay. He's loving it. I said, will there be a Simpsons movie too? And James L. Brooks said, maybe. Oh God, I'm the got a couple of questions here. Darren wants to know what your favorite comedy is of all time, TV show? Oh, TV show? TV comedy. Ooh. Um, gosh, there's a few. Um, man. I mean, I like Frasier. I like The Middle. You see, I like Kelsey and Patricia because they were on a show called Back to You. Before Modern Family. Back to you. Before Modern Family, there was Back to You. So I met Ty Burrell this year at Critics' oh, Choice. Yeah. I told him I was the biggest fan of, of Back to You. And he's like, Ty Burrell um, from Modern Family. From Modern Family. Because he was on Back to You as well. Yeah. So was Josh Gad. This was pre Frozen. Yeah. So, yeah, and look pre, up Back um, to You. 1616. Sorry. Darren says you got it wrong. Ben, what's the answer? What do you think the answer is? Oh, it's Seinfeld, obviously. Sorry that you got that wrong. That's all right. That's okay. never I like it. Seinfeld too. I like. There was only one. They never made What was the matter? What did you find wrong with Seinfeld? What did like, I find wrong with Seinfeld? Like you no, he's too young. He's, is it because you're younger? I, I bet your dad right. loves Seinfeld. Do you love Seinfeld? Okay, well, obviously his dad's a lot of <laughs> You know what I've been like? Um, I didn't love the Seinfeld finale. You know what I just no, got I into? Right. They didn't write you know what I just got into over the summer? The Larry Sanders Show. HBO Great finally show. streamed it. And I said, where was this show my whole life? Yes. Because it's about... TV news, or you know, talk show, and, and being out there, and, and my gosh, Jerry Shandling was funny, and Jeffrey Tambor, and Rip Torn, Great the cast. writing, before The Office, before everything. That was, did you ever watch that last? Sure. Oh my gosh. Tony Kendall wants to know why, if you say you just tuned back in, surprised Patriots Day didn't get any nominations, mm. what do you think? Um, yeah, I'm surprised too. It should have gotten some sound category nominations at least, but it went to, a couple of those went to Deepwater Horizon, which uh, Peter Burke also did with so Mark Wahlberg. Nice. Yeah. And just because we like saying her name, Tracy Bender Schisler is in yeah. the room. She yeah. says, hey guys, listening while working out in the gym. Hi, how are you, Tracy? Working out at the gym, Love pumping it. iron. Yes. Nice. It's very nice. Good. Yes. Um, I can't believe you know that about the Patriots. That was such a random thing for you to know. Yeah, pa Patriots Day was a good film. It came out a little late. And it wasn't put out in enough theaters. Yeah, it was kind of the wrong play on Lionsgate. To I don't try understand. To get it out. If, the, if, the, if these guys, the picture companies, know this, why not strategically release the movies yeah, when they could be ready for Oscar It season? was a jam-packed Christmas. Basically, um, six or seven movies. Weinstein Company, they have Lion out yeah. for awards. But they had three other movies that they could have gotten in. One of them was The Founder with Michael Keaton. Tremendous. One of them was Gold with Matthew McConaughey. He was very good. 
and they put them out kind of too late yeah. and shelved them in. The other was Sing Street. I don't know if you've seen Sing Street. No, but I heard Ooh. Gold, though, wasn't that great. I liked it. I that liked was when gold. he was a little heavier with the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sing thing. Street was my number two film of the year, uh, also a musical. Who um, it? it's, uh, it's from the director of Once and Begin Again, oh, once. John Carney. And, and, and it's uh, set in Ireland, and it's, uh, it's a young love story from a few decades back, the 80s. Connor, that's like and right up your alley. My gosh. Blew me away. My number two for the year. How um, did it blow you away? Because he made every right decision with that story. Oh, every cute. way you hoped it would go, it did. Good and bad when it came to the story. Every way it went. It, it turned out good. I love yeah. listening to you. It's almost like you're singing when you speak. It's really cool. Okay, go on then. Sorry. Uh, question here about The Big Lebowski from uh, Darren. What did you think of it? Never seen, unfortunately. I've never seen. You know what? I have I so many. Either. You've never seen Big Lebowski? That's yeah. great. It's a good movie. It's a good movie, yeah. yeah. I have Worth so many movies seeing. I could see, but I had to see all the new ones, so it's tough for me to I'll see the study. go back old. Was it a study? I'm doing it. Yeah, it's tough. It's about 12 to 15 a year. Like, I just watched Six Sense for the first time over the summer. Yeah. Ones I have to catch up on. Right. It's tough, but I, I, I pick and choose a few. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I would say The Man of La Mancha. Have you seen that? Yes. Spanish you class. The Man of La Mancha? Spanish class. It's uh, senior year. That's, That's the one with Peter O'Toole, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. It was good. It was all right. It was all right. right. It was all right. Did you see The Prince of Tides? No. Okay. That was the greatest movie ever it's the made. The greatest movie ever made. Yeah. Okay. Just so you know, I mean, yeah. Barbara Streisand put out a performance like no, like nobody's business. Barbara C Streisand is one hell of an actress. C yeah. Hubson wants to know any thoughts on Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? Is that? Yeah. I haven't seen that. You know no. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross either. No. I don't know. You know what I gotta it say? Is. Was that an Oscar movie or something? Uh, Baltimore, right? Oh yeah, it's. Oh, uh, it's an old. Yeah, that's. Oh, it's old. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's old. Uh, no. I thought it was like out this year. I'm like, oh, it's going up against the lines. <laughs> right. And Darren wants to know if you're old enough to drink. I'm yeah, not old not. enough to drink. We'll not be partaking in that. No, but um, you are old enough to watch movies about drinking. Why did we bring the monitor? You have something to show me? We got old pictures. I think okay. we're going to take a trip yeah. down memory lane. Yeah. these pictures of did me? Did we find? Yeah, we got a couple. Of cool. Uh, Give me a minute. Just we got a little bit of new set up. So we're going to. I hope this cord will extend. All right. So, uh, Wait, why d uh, different than what we did last time when you put it up on the TV? Yeah. Well, since we got this new thing, uh, we need to get a longer cord. But can you see the uh, monitor? All right. Um, we'll yeah, you guys can sit towards the edge of the couch. We'll chat while, All right. while we do this. So how long have I been doing? Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh. You're such a small guy. Oh, my gosh. So is that what's on there right now? This is on there right now. That's what's on there right now. Oh so that was when I interviewed you about uh, the talk show potentially and working with uh, as an intern for Jean Shallot. Look how right? cute yeah. you were. Yeah. Look how sweet. Okay. And then the next one is here. Yeah, that was another appearance. Oh, yeah. I was really into you. I mean, still am, but Thank look you. how much well, love I threw yeah, your love way. Love is in here. So I believe Memorial Day because the, the service people were there. Yeah. And then we have, oh uh, yeah, you surprised me with a kiss I one really time. I really do Jenna. kiss you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hugging, a lot of kissing. Okay, yeah. I really found you absolutely adorable. Look Thank at that you. little shirt. Yes. Yes, stylish. Oh, oh now, stylish. Yeah, now yeah. you started getting with the blazers. Yes. Now you're turning into a yes. young man. Yes, chilling there. And then we also one time went to the theater. Yeah, we, we did for a whole piece. We did we? for a whole piece. Yeah. Went to the theater, in, uh, Regal Theater in Albany, New York, and we had a great time. And then we went to where I used to uh, do the movie reviews on TV. Right, the TV station. Yes. That's right. Yes, so that was fantastic. And you were, uh, yeah, you talked to me in my ear. Oh, in your eye. Because I had to concentrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you went pull out, Lance. Yeah. We, um, we yeah. did a, uh, a mock. A mock me directing you yeah. as a so I was reading and you were and you were talking and la I was laughing hysterically. Yeah, that's yes. what I do. I because God forbid you should take me seriously. That's <laughs> nobody should take me seriously ever. A day doesn't go by that someone doesn't. I, I love this journey that you're on. Thank you. I love the young man that you're turning into, even though you're sort of a young man from age like four. Um, but you're the perfect example of someone who knew what they wanted to do, had the support of your family that you could yes. um, hone your skills, not afraid to just go up to people, not afraid to speak your truth and to like be who you are and you continue to do it. And 
have followed up with me over the years and I'm so blessed and honored. I absolutely love what you're doing. And one day Thank you're you. gonna be this like big mega variety show host and Thank I'm gonna you. be like, hey, can I hold flashcards for you as you're like reading different things? Yeah, you will come say, on as a guest. You will, yes. You're gonna be like, I'll be like, back in the day <laughs> uh, when I was, um, I, I love what you're doing. Thank you. I, and, it, and it seems, and it seemed back then, it seems now that you enjoy doing it. Yes, I love it. I love talking to people. I love meeting the celebrities anytime I can, interviewing them, talking with people about movies. Yeah, and there's always something new. There's always something evolving in the entertainment industry. Um, yeah, there's always something to talk about. This uh, being Oscar week, there's plenty to talk about, but there always is. Yeah. Well, when you sit down to watch the Oscars this Sunday night, yes. Okay, I want you to think about two things. One. You got a lot on your plate, a lot of movies. Yeah. You put yourself out there. A lot right. of people are going to be like depending on you to get it right. A lot of people are playing with the boxes where they right. take off the different things. All that is second to the fact that it will also be my birthday on Sunday. I mean, I already know that it's going to be my birthday. Not it will be February twenty sixth. So please, with every decision you make, yes. with every opinion that you give, with yes. every piece of advice you dole out, keep yes. in mind it is still. Pay homage, a little bit of homage to Jenna Wolf. It was nice of the Academy to put on a whole thing for you. I, I'm surprised they were, they were deciding when to have the Oscars. Yes. I threw that date out there just because I threw my date out there for everything, right. and, they, and they jumped on it, which yes. was nice of them. That is also my half birthday, so it's your regular birthday. August 13th or 26th. Get out of here! My little one, my little small prize, August 21st. I wanted her to get to the 26th. That would have been the half birthday. Oh my gosh, we yeah. didn't even know we yeah, were yeah. like birthday soulmates. That's right, we are birthday soulmates. That's a, that's a good cool yeah. term for that, yeah. yes. Um, what's, ne what's the next big thing for you? Where, where can people see you? Where can people find you if people want to know more about you? Thank you, yes. Twitter, at LCJ Reviews. Facebook is Lights Camera Jackson. YouTube is Lights Camera Jackson. Instagram, at Lights Cam Jackson. Snapchat is LCJ Reviews. And for all the reviews and the blog pieces, everything, lights-camera-jackson.com. I love it. We just hit everybody here, so anyone that's on any of those platforms yes. will definitely get a chance. Thank you very much. You are such a rock star. I love where you've been. I love where you are, and I especially love where you're going. And I can't thank you enough for coming, hanging out with this us. This was wonderful. Thank you for having me. What did I tell you? I was like, he's like a little god. Like, yes. wait till you see this kid. He's amazing. Um, thank you. Do you have any siblings? No. Okay. They would not bode well in this household because he'd be like overshadowing. Um, Come back soon. Yes, I will. Absolutely. Next break or whenever yeah, yeah. it is the next big uh, uh, movie situation. Summer, summer's coming up. Summer's around the corner. Yeah, yeah. come back and okay. movie some movies for Beautiful. us. Beautiful. All right, Action Jackson, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. Thank you, Jackson Murphy. All right, take a break. We'll be right back. Do you see how young and how, how good I used to look a million years ago? <laughs> you still look Did great. you see that? You look great. <clears throat> Feel free to work your abs on that ball that I decided to do a handstand yeah, on one time that I like broke my neck. Really no, no, you I can. Yeah, let's stand it in front of there. It'll be oh, okay. Yeah, 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 the, oh, yeah, take the one of The backdrop is here. iconic, so we have to. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, my God. Okay. And then we'll do one with 